or at one point did but I still think it is suspended because why doesn't he have a freaking car? Um, and we've never seen, you know, he even never talks about driving, even a friend's car, nothing like that, even Shanice's car. So I'm thinking he still okay. has a suspended license. Okay, so I don't know about the license being suspended, but he did have like, like one of the cars he had was like an old, like Volkswagen, and then he bought a Tesla. Mm hmm right i was with him when he bought the tesla so after that i don't know like the tesla just kind of like disappeared i think he like so, rented that or something wait, yeah i have a question so when you were with him when he bought a tesla do you know dylan and them i do know dylan mm. oh. i don't know him that much oh. though, mm -hmm. but I've, I've i've met him Mm, and okay. I'm sorry, when was, so when did he buy oh, the Tesla? Was that in 2020? It was 2021. Was 2020, 2021. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, I think. 2021, beginning of 2022. Because I'm late into the game. But um, what was your relationship? You were his friend? I'm just lost. I think I can't no. lose. I, we, it was, we used to like talk. Mm. So that was in 2021. Okay. Did he have and did he have that uh, apartment at the time? He did. Okay. Yeah. And it looks exactly the same then that like it does now. <laughs> does it like trigger you? Like his emotions, like his mannerisms and stuff, characteristics. Can you relate it to it, like when you were it, talking to him in twenty twenty one? It does, but I think it's gotten worse. Actually, way worse, because especially with Olivia, because she's not experienced at all. So she's very easy to manipulate. And for me, that wasn't the case, obviously. But did you grow I, up with I, him? Mm, sorry. What was that? Did you grow up in San Diego? I just looked at your profile. You said you're, um, it says SD. I'm an SD too. I saw yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm from San Diego. <laughs> oh, me too. Okay. Okay. Girl. Hey. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, I no, think it, was, it, it got worse. And then like what he practices too, I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, Scientology. I mean, Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I've seen his old mm -hmm. yeah. videos. So he has a lot of books. He had a lot of books on that. So all of that that he does to Olivia is like basically what Scientology is. All that exactly. relation tactic, all that, you know, just you know, manipulating mm -hmm. having control. It's like a cult. That's exactly what it is. Like, I feel like even what he is doing now, you know what I'm saying? Like, to a certain point, where where do we draw a line and say, okay, you know, you want to be poly, that's great, but, but these women are now, if anyone's familiar with um, Scientology, it's pretty much like the practice of, um, self-acknowledgement and self-growth and then it's like it's something else i can't remember oh goodness they do like classes and training and, and certain stuff for um for growth in general and like self-acknowledgement and, and you know what i'm saying like whatever so and that is really what he he pitches to everyone as well as if you look at what a cult is it is you know multiple people <laughs> looking up to one person following exactly what their quote-unquote mission is and literally worshiping them that to me is what this is i'm sorry it really is because you have all these women who will potentially if he gets other women are going to look up to him follow this mission to what extent you know at what cost exactly because you you can already you, you guys already know it is not to build these women up it's it's all about him he wants these yeah. seven women, whatever, to build him up. It's giving King him up. So, <laughs> but yeah, this is you. We all know it's 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 about him. It's the Sean show. Not even it's not about these women. What's, and I, oh. I don't care if this is like a little thing, but what what is crazy to me with all these girls coming out on on TikTok, we know who all these other different girls coming out talking about they want to go see him. Is they're really paying to go see this man? Like. You guys are paying for your own flight to see this man, like, to see Sean. Mm -hmm. But 
Thank no, you. Amanda, I was just wondering, you know, if you knew anything about if he did have a license, even if he had that car. Um, so he went to the Tesla deal dealership, so he would have had to have had a license, you know, at some yeah. point. He, yeah, it was just like, yeah, it was just actually, it was just like a random car dealership. And then, oh. um, hmm. yeah, it wasn't even a Tesla dealership. It was just a regular, oh, selling different type of cars. And yeah, we went and then I guess he didn't buy it that day, but like he went back and got it, but then it just disappeared. So hmm. I don't know. Did he, did he buy it cash? I don't know. I don't know if he bought it in cash. Because if he bought it cash, you definitely don't need a license to buy to buy it. That's what I would think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? You don't? No, you don't. I, um, out here in San Diego, when I, my first car, I didn't have no license either. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 hmm. they have yeah. cars. Yeah. They have cars out here. Look, I got my license. Yeah. Yeah. The license yeah, my, my, I got my license. Oh my gosh. Now was was Sean I can't remember we might have touched on this before, Amanda. Was Sean in the military when you knew him? Yes. Mm. Okay. Oh. And this the he, old was that, he, was, he was going through that you know. I don't know if I can say it, but that that case with that girl. What? Oh so he was, he was actively going through that, and he was telling me about that. And I was just gonna ask, what's it? Yeah, he basically did? saying he like, anything? oh well, um, my ex was posting all that of the girls and whatever. Like he was just telling me about it, and that he was he uh, could have got sentenced to military jail, mm. but he didn't. So, so was he so telling was, you a story that was like making it seem all, as though he didn't obviously that he didn't do it yeah. like you know saying almost making it to where she looked crazy like I don't understand why, yeah. why she took this. That's what that's what it was. He was just making it seem like dang like why did she do this to me? Like it was just like that. So how did you meet him in twenty twenty one or did you know him during twenty twenty? I met him February of 2021. Mm. Okay, so did he ever talk mm. about being homeless a year prior? He absolutely did, all the time. Okay. okay. Oh, did it seem God. like he was just like healing from that, or you know, I... I'm just trying to get an idea? Because you were that was like the first person at least closest to that date. So I don't know if that you're able to vouch if it's true or not. I, you know what? Now that I think about it, his stories would kind of switch up. So it was like he was he was homeless, but then he was living with his ex girlfriend. Mm. So that's what she said. Was was she she was what was that? I'm sorry. I think it was it Polly. Polly North Lynn. Lynn. Okay. Lynn. 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 No, I was saying that's what the his, the ex said that he was with her. He wasn't home. Yeah. So when did you there. guys um when did you guys stop contact? It, beginning of last year. Okay, so did you know, did you meet Olivia? I'm sorry, I'm so sorry to mm -hmm. No, it's okay. So <laughs> here's the thing. So so at the beginning of twenty twenty one was like I was on my way out the door so he actually told me about some girl that he met and that he that he you know did the do with and he was telling me that she was black and asian isn't she like mm -hmm. indonesian or something like that mm -hmm. so yes. he was telling me about her in the beginning of 2022 so how old was she then so Okay. Or 18. It would have been 18, 19, something like that. Yeah. So, okay. I never met her, though. So, okay. you knew him? Wait, I'm confused. But did you know him Sorry. when he was with Shanice? <laughs> okay, I did. Oh because God. the thing is, <laughs> so, me and him were talking, but then he had posted Shanice, and that's when I found out about Shanice. Oh, and that was the beginning of 2022 as well. So I was just like, okay. And then I stopped talking to him. And then it was just like an on and off situation. situation. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and I, I was just gonna ask you know, really quick. I'm so I'll let you go, Polly or whoever. Okay. Um, and I want you to know, Amanda. You know, you've been on here a few times. There's no hate, no judgment. I think in a situation like that, absolutely his fault. Um, we clearly see what he did with Olivia and Shanice with the sneaky, sneaky, you know, with you know secrets or whatever. So mm -hmm. please do not feel judged by anything we ask. If it's too much, you don't want to answer. Just say, hey, I'm not comfortable with that, you know, whatever. Because um, I don't want you to feel pressured or anything. Um, yeah, no worries. No, I'm, I'm fine. This needs to get out because he needs to go. <laughs> so did you, I know I think I asked this before. Do you think that there was any, any signs of him being a bad person? Like, are you surprised by any of this? I'm, I'm, I'm not surprised. I think... I wouldn't say a bad person, but I think he has some mental issues. Absolutely. Like, mm. you, I don't know if you guys ever seen, if he ever like went, cause I don't watch his lives, but I see like clips or something, but like he would just like randomly like scream or something or like, I don't know. It's just, it was just really giving, funny. yeah, acting really weird. Like he, it's giving mental illness. <laughs> Which is funny because he tries to put that on Shanice and like other guests so bad he tries to push that that narrative. <laughs> but that's what he does. That's, that's that manipulation tactic. He always try to push a narrative because he would do that to me too. He would do that to you. He would just have some type of narrative or something like shit that wasn't even true. Oh my gosh! So you think that? Do you think he's a compulsive liar? Because to me, that's how it seems. Yeah, I, I I can agree. Okay. I can agree. I think it's more too like he knows what he's doing. And because um, I see clips too where like he'll, he'll have her wake up at like three in the morning to go to the gym and then like you're not going back to sleep all day. That's absolutely a tactic to keep her tired, stressed out, and weak-minded. Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, Polynark, I saw you on mute a few times, honey. Did you have anything to add? Um, I do want to ask, but of course I don't want to push any boundaries, so if it's something you're not comfortable um, answering, just let me know, and I apologize in advance. But I don't know if you're comfortable disclosing why you guys um, stopped contact. Oh, um, what was like okay. maybe a breaking point? I apologize. It was okay. It's because he wanted me to do the poly, and I didn't agree with that. He kept trying to oh, push okay. it on me, but then he would always he would like say like sexual things along with it that were making me uncomfortable. So I just was like, yeah, I'm done. Done. Okay. And we see yeah, that a lot true. with with him on live with Olivia or even the guests, you know, being very in, like making in the window, you know, jokes that are just gross and and very embarrassing, not only for Olivia, but the guests who he's, you know, saying these things to. So it doesn't surprise me um, at all. Yeah. So I have a question myself. Do you know who this is? Because she was around Sean um, when you were around him as well. Yes, I do, and mm. we are not friends okay. anymore. Mm. She was not in a relationship with Sean, mm. but she did work for him, quote unquote. Okay. Oh my. So yeah, she's not. She. I I, I don't want to get into much because I don't want to say anything. Mm -hmm. You're fine. Um, <laughs> what was that? She lives in San Diego. Yeah, she does. And how did you guys meet? Did you meet online, like them, LinkedIn, or Instagram, or was it in person? Are you talking about me and her, or me and him? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, actually, both. Okay, so I actually met Sean through her. That's what so, I okay. I have, a, I have another, my, I have another best friend, so they, so my best friend was already friends with her, and then I guess she was trying to get her to do some type of business thing or whatever, so... I was invited over there by my best friend, and that's when I first met her and, and Sean. 
that makes sense. Yeah. It makes yeah. sense. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Now, do you know much about, we might have even talked about this before, I apologize, it's been a while. Do you know what the hell his business is? If you don't feel like answering, that's fine. We're just so confused. (laughs) Okay, so I don't know now, but from what I remember, he closes for Grant Cardone. He doesn't, yeah. And then he, he would like, Like, it's kind of like a pyramid scheme. So, like, whoever you have under you, you make money, right? Mm. So, he would have all these, like, people, like, oh, like, if you're trying to be, like, a dating coach, a fitness coach, you're trying to do Airbnb, he would have all these people, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to make it make sense. But, like, he would have all these people under him, and they would close deals. But I think he would get some of the money. Okay. Okay. I'm just trying to make it make sense. <laughs> no, it definitely does make sense, especially yeah. because if we go back a, a long time ago, he would reference things like that. Like, I'm looking for an Airbnb coach, or I don't do this, but I'm looking for somebody to help you guys do this. Yes. So it sounds exactly like that. Like he's he has his people under him who either recruit people or and then they, he gets cuts from that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So you watch their lives a little bit or not at all? I just watch clips. I, I, with Sean, it really, when I hear him talk, it makes me mad. Like, so I just, I don't, I don't want to hear him talk too long. So I don't really watch the lives. I've just seen a, a couple clips though, of like new ones, but I don't mm-hmm. watch it. Now, the last time we spoke, um, a couple, a month or, oh, it was like a few months ago, you had said that, you know, since breaking it off with him, you guys, or he had tried reaching out to you for you to join his poly relationship. Has he tried reaching out to you recently or more recent, anything like that? No, so the last time I told you was the last time. Okay, I pretty, I thought you said you blocked him. No, I don't remember. Yeah, I so, did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And um, I do have a question. So a long time ago, and actually recently, he stated that he had a couple of girlfriends. He said ages like 26, 28, and I think another 26-year-old. I don't know if you can vouch for that, but he did say he had past girlfriends as well, like with Shanice or whatnot, trials, I guess. Um, when I was with him, he absolutely had different different women because I see things at that at that apartment um but i've never met shanice we've never had a so i don't know who he has been with so i can't really I can't vouch for that yeah <laughs> okay but he did have other women he absolutely that had other women. yes okay so i do have a question and this is like the last one i will stop like bombarding you about stuff no it's okay um, do you okay i'm gonna be very disappointed probably by this question but is that place a penthouse or an apartment it's an apartment because a penthouse you have the whole floor like that whole floor is yours that's not a penthouse he's just on the he just has a high apartment Because the ones above him, those are penthouses. Yeah. Because I know where he lives. Like, it's not. Yeah. Girl. Like, he's only pulling people who are not from here. Or not even. Exactly. Not here, but people know that it's not a pet, That he does not live in a penthouse. It's not a penthouse. Oh, I definitely. I definitely knew that. I think I knew it. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I, I honestly also wanted to know what. Because did he tell you, hey, this is my penthouse? Yeah, he did. Okay. <laughs> Oh, dear God. And I was just like, oh, penthouse. I don't think so. (laughs) (laughs) Like, no. He is just a TikTok viral person. Honestly, too, when I first met him, I thought he was a little, you know. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I thought he was. Mm. Oh, God. 
I'm not even trying to be rude. He just gives like he he can't stand women. Like he's sassy. Yeah. He yeah. Look at him. He is feminine. He's like very sassy. Ew. Ew. Goodbye. Get that get that off my screen right now. I said right. come on. Yes. I was right. right. <laughs> Cause this is a pattern with him. I was actually <laughs> Olivia's age when I met him. What, what age? Yeah. 19. Mm. How, what, how old are you now, if that's okay, Sharon? I'm, I'm 22 now. Okay. But mm, thank you. after, like, now that I'm seeing this, like, when you get younger women, impressionable, who, who you know don't have experience, it's, you know, it's so much easier to just manipulate and I'm whatnot. sorry. I'm not trying to interrupt you. I'm so sorry. Who is in like a garbage shoot? Like it literally sounds like someone I think that's throwing Teddy garbage on the man. Or something. I think. Uh-uh, that's not me. That's not me. Oh, oh I don't know. Quite a shoot. <laughs> it might be I mean, it, it's not an issue. I was just like, what in the world? No, it's a okay. bad. Uh, no, you're fine. I'm trying to um remember what in the world. Okay, so one, I'm so sorry. I said it was gonna be the last thing. I'm so sorry. Um, with the with the Scientology stuff, did you ever see him act like you know what I'm saying actively, um, practice? I mean, I know there's books in his apartment or whatever, but I know also Dylan is a part of Scientology or practices that as well. So did you ever see them? You know, I don't even know what it would be. do a ritual. I don't know. I don't really. I know what Scientology is, but like. I don't know what they would do. I guess sit and read books. <laughs> yes. No, I've never seen them actively practice it. But yeah, like you said, it's it was it's so many books. Um, cause the dude, his name is L. Ron Hubbard, so he has a lot of those books, like a lot. So no, but no, I've never seen him actively like practice it. No. Oh my gosh! Hi, Papaya. Hey, guys. Hi. I, wow, this is so crazy. Um, I kind of joined in halfway through, but am I, so Amanda, I yes. used to like date him. Hi, Amanda, nice to meet you. I was <laughs> one of his friends, I used to date him, because somebody kind of did like a real quick recap. Oh, yeah, so in 2021, I, I we used to date. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Can I ask a quick question if you don't mind? No. Because I'm curious as to just like, and was he living in the quote unquote penthouse apartment? Yes, he was. Um, how did you guys get to the dates? Like, would he Uber you? He had a car. Me? Oh, yeah. Um, actually, no. Um, so you, downtown, right? There's a lot of restaurants close to there. So we would either walk. There's times where I've drove him that we that I drove hmm. um he's drove when he had the Tesla I don't you know he drove oh. then but I think he had to give the Tesla back so <laughs> but, I don't know but yeah but most of the time we would just walk because everything was close oh my god so how did you feel walking to a date like that like <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous but it's like you know, and if we're the right person, maybe it wouldn't be an issue. But that's just like, oh, I don't know. I, well, at the at the time, I didn't Thank mind you, it because you know, you know. at the time I didn't mind it because everything was close. Like it was walking distance. Like you you didn't need a car to, mm. to uh, get to where we were going. Um, Thank you. But you know, I didn't mind it at the time. Mm. Hmm. So, so at some point he did, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to kind of like get everything. He did have a car at one point, but you guys would still walk or when you would walk, this is when he still didn't, like he didn't have a car. So he did have a car. He had the, um, like that Volkswagen that I mentioned yes. earlier, like an old Volkswagen, but he never drove it. He drove mm. me in that car one time to go get the Tesla and then um oh after he got the tesla he we drove a few times but i would definitely say like 95 percent of the time we were walking 
Go ahead, Papaya. So a lot of the stuff you guys did were basically within downtown. Like yeah. have you guys ever gone to the beach or like a? It was literally just like areas. It was just within the downtown city. restaurants. Yeah. Um, did you ever go to sit for Sundays with them? Oh my God, no. <laughs> no, I did not. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Liv. No, I was just saying that, just like what he does with Olivia. And Sinful Sundays, you have to be 21. And she lives exactly. Like, Aren't they banned now? now? They're banned from now, I think. Yeah. Because yeah. of that. Yeah, they like removed all of their pictures. And oh, you know, they're, they're banned from there. there. And then yeah. I think they're banned from. It's no, a new I mean, little I club. Think you know, I think you know some people I know, but I'm going to ask offline because I don't know if she wants to say her name. <laughs> so, what's that? Okay. okay. No matter. <laughs> no, no, it's one of my friends. I don't know if she wants me to say her name. Oh, okay, yeah. Just ask me later. <laughs> so, you just said that you think they got banned, Banana, sorry, from another club recently. Yeah. Can you... Go ahead. No, go ahead. I think you, you kind of knew what I was asking, so go ahead. I'm not sure, but this is just what I heard, that um, it's just like a new club downtown and uh, I think she was let in there too. She was un under 21 and she can't go yeah. in there. But I know for sure, Simple Sunday, she's absolutely, they're both. No, so we... Yeah, don't call me on the next one. Mm -hmm. Right, so we saw pictures of them at Simple Sunday, then um, it would make sense because obviously like their pictures were deleted off of there and then so uh, yeah um, we had wondered like how in the world did she get in there to begin with you know she's not 21 blah 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 we thought maybe because there is clubs where you know you can go in as long as you you know if you have a wristband then you can drink yeah. but um or if yeah, you pay right so yeah. yeah that makes a lot of sense um Oh my gosh, I was going to ask something else, and I can't remember. Oh, oh, so do you think that he was doing any type of photography jobs at these clubs, or just straight up going to drink? He was. Um, he would He would take pictures, um, from what I knew. He would take pictures at the club, mm. at the Central Sunday. Right, that's what I thought. Now, did you know him? I know this is something that's, like, newer, so maybe not. But did you know him to go to the casino or, or gamble or anything like that? No. Okay. No. That's what I figured. Yeah. And it's crazy, too, how he, how he like, says that like he doesn't drink, but, like, he used to always be drinking a lot, and he would get me drunk. So I don't know why he's doing all that. Oh, at 19. Yeah, at 19. 19, 20. And I was gonna say, no, this is not. Go ahead, Liv. Um, the club. So you, I know you guys said that she, um, she, Olivia was at that club. If he works, if he works with that club or if you know someone, so any of clubs are not strict. Like it's very easy yeah. for you to get in. Like, like I know some people are super strict, but San Diego, you can literally get in at clubs 16, 17 if you just know somebody who works yeah. there. So she probably got in because Sean was a photographer there or whatever. She's yeah. right. It's not strict out there. <laughs> you know someone there, and she's literally you just walk in with that person. Yeah, and that's how it seems. You know, the just from the the pictures we saw on um, Sinful's Instagram, it kind of seemed like that interaction. You know, like maybe he knew somebody or whatever. Um, now, I know when we talked previously, you had said that like. Uh, um, you guys had went to maybe a house party together or something like that. Parties maybe. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, is that true? You said that um, we went to a house party, or he had a house party, something of the sort. No, yeah, he had. He he did. He had a okay. few. Now people, and I'm so sorry to ask this because I okay. I don't really want to, but people keep blowing it up in the chat. Have you ever seen him do substances of any sort? No, I physically have never seen him do that. I'm not saying that he don't, but I've physically never seen him do that. Okay. Oh, goodness. No, I just, 
you know, there's a lot of stuff that we wonder, you know, as things like this been happening for a long time now, are you surprised by the allegations and just from what you knew of him? I know before you said he never really, you know, got, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Whatever with you, like abusive or, you know, anything like that. But are you surprised by a lot of this stuff coming out? Um, yeah and no because i kind of knew it was already going to get worse anyway but with like the substance i don't know i can't really put you can't put nothing past nobody so that one i'm I'm just going to say i don't know about like that allegation coming out but like the stuff that he's doing now i'm not really surprised hmm Right. Um. Hold on. I'm so sorry to interrupt. Oh, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we not. I'm good. How are you? I'm from Syria, my friend. I'm from Syria. Okay. Let me mute myself. Do you know about Sean and Olivia? <laughs> my friend. I'm from Syria. I thought you like it. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. No, 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 don't, no! Thank you for the gift, thank you for the gift. I just did that, just a small donation. G, I, G, I'm going to get <laughs> This is the second yeah, time. He just wanted a shout out, that's it. Right. Period. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> said, do you know about Sean and Olivia? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> At least we so, know they're not national, I guess. Shit. <laughs> or international. Uh, yeah. I would have been scared. Uh-uh. Like, yeah. <laughs> I like that. Right. He said, oh. Right. I never <laughs> did that. <laughs> He's re requesting. Oh, oh my God. God. Can you block him? But Amanda, yeah, let's see how he feels. How does he feel about Sean and Olivia? <laughs> sorry sorry oh yeah no i wanted to ask one quick question and i may drop down but like mm-hmm. remembering the conversations that you had with him was there like anything he said that was just like a straight out lie or like just didn't make sense um or also was there anything interesting that he may have told you about like his past his family just thinking of like the conversations and then i guess part number two was like what were the things that he said to get you? Like, what, like, what's this dude's game? Um, I'm kind of curious to know, like, what is his game and what was he spitting that kind of made you intrigued or attracted, if that makes sense? That is a very good question. All right. <laughs> Sit back. <laughs> okay. Um, so, at the time, like I said, I was 19, right? And most 19 year olds didn't have what he had, quote unquote, right? So just me being naive, he would just, you know, say all these things that I've never heard before and like looking at where he lived, you know, I was just intrigued as a young 19 year old. And he would give these like sob stories to like um, how he said that he was homeless he would be saying that he used to eat out of dog bowls and stuff and you know just he would just make it seem like nobody was better than him that's really what it was but what really got me intrigued though was just you know where he where he lived and what he did not really knowing what he actually does and who he really was about it dog bowls yeah, he said that he used to eat. Oh. <laughs> mm. Go ahead, now, Liv. I heard now, you. I absolutely gave a bombastic side eye. Oh, <laughs> God, no. You got no dog bones. Well, that's no why he's spitting into some sunflower seed bucket. Oh, let me try. Eating like a dog. <laughs> Liv is over there, like, oh my like, no. God. Oh. Past that, but you know, you're young, you're 19, he definitely just oversold it 
and that's why he likes to go for the younger girls exactly and that's why i look at olivia like girl she is going downhill she don't know what she's she don't even know herself you're just knowing what this man is telling you and he's not even keeping you on the right track i feel bad but at the same time you can't say no you don't want to be said hold on shanice is in here hi shanice oh my god i love you so much yes i just looked in the the little like list of people watching hello lovely yes <laughs> oh my gosh i'm honored thank you <laughs> oh my gosh go ahead honey i'm so sorry i had to interrupt to read oh, yeah, no, <laughs> um and then the part two of the question was just like did he tell you anything about family or is there anything that he told you back then that now looking back you're like that was a gang lie you know like anything not add up with this story mm. i'm sorry can you repeat the question one more time i'm sorry no, no, you're good you're good i was just asking like was there anything that he may have told you about his family his past or anything that he may have told you back then where like now you look back and you're like that was a lie that didn't add up or anything like that. Well, I have to sing on that. He would say what he still said, like his dad was a, he was adopted and his dad is like a doctor or whatever. And I've actually met his dad. Um, Wait, you did meet him? I met his dad. I, I didn't say too much to him though. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Yeah, but I, that's something I have to really think about because it's been so long, so. Mm. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I'm trying to think of some real. Is that same with San Diego? But I think you're the only one who may have said they met the dad. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Did his dad come from San Diego? What was that? So Sean's dad came to San Diego. Yes. Oh, okay. Wow. Hmm. Mm. Let's. Hey, Kathy. Oh my gosh. I don't. I don't know. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm like fangirling right now. I cannot believe <laughs> what is that. I just like saw that and I was like, I can't even think straight right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. What in the world? I don't even know what you just asked or what you said. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> is she still in here? Yes. And I'm telling you right now, I'm like, oh my gosh, if anyone is, could be in here, I'm so honored. Like, what the hell? <laughs> but no. Um, I'm trying to think what in the world I'm trying to say. Well, so far, the chat wants to know um, why did you guys break up? That's because with the chats. Oh, because um, he tried to do the poly and I wasn't with that. And then he was just saying sexual things that were making me uncomfortable. And I think at the time, too, he was with um, Shanice. And I guess him knowing like, her sexuality. He was just saying like uncomfortable things because um, I've had relations with women before too, but I don't know, like I, all that was just like a no for me. So that's why. I think what's so okay. upsetting is like <laughs> the the women that he, he chooses to do these things to are clearly very like, say very strong women who let their guard down with a man who is very manipulative if that makes sense like it's it's so sad because we see the aftermath of all the women that he's you know been in relations with been in connections with and then he sits and will sit and try to downgrade them still after they're gone and this is a big thing too is like he, he sits and says you know tries to imply almost like or not almost but it tries to imply that they're crazy but like but you're clearly project you know projecting that onto them so if you're sitting and saying all these things to us right now because you're mad that they moved on or that you're mad because they have a better life what did you do behind closed doors the way he talks about me is absolutely horrible <laughs> Please, girl, go. It's just sad. It's, it's, yeah. yeah. Because it's like, 
and especially when they they try to tell their story then it's oh they oh they wanted social media and this that and the third or they're trying to get revenge you already show us your true colors every night and that's exactly. only a little bit of it like but you're not no like you don't have no money you have nothing what what do these women get gaining from just lying on you everything i believe everybody because like you said his true colors look what he's doing all of that but mm -hmm. you are nobody <laughs> oh gosh i don't know i'm so sorry guys i definitely got like oh my gosh what the heck um but no it's i really appreciate go ahead troy um real quick it's um those that stay in san diego sean like famous in san diego does everybody like respect them and stuff no no i don't know about respect. everybody who knows him or is just like he's weird like he's a weirdo no oh i'm so sorry isis i'll get you off the big screen i i'm not even yeah i was, I was just curious because i was like i was just like man he's living in san diego i know it's not that big and i'm like san diego is small so like, yeah like people like i have friends who know him it's small in that sense but he's not like a star like <laughs> oh okay yeah no that's i was wondering it's not like he's walking down and everyone's like oh my god la, 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 la. no that's what, oh, he wants. that's what i was thinking no like someone said he's using a fake account what do you mean uh, it's our D in here. He has well, hello. If he's on here, hello. And what about it? Oh. <laughs> I'm done. Did somebody that that's the name he uses as his username? Oh, I thought people were trying to say he was in here. I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting tired. Um. So. Do people in like, okay, let's say that they see them in public in San Diego. Do you think like somebody, I know Liv has said some what about this or, you know, whatever, touched on it a little bit. Do you think there is an actual potential of somebody getting their hands on them? Like, like in a violent way? <laughs> Never mind, we'll move on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like trying to understand the question. The answer <laughs> You're fine. I got um, you. <laughs> I oh mean, if it's not anybody else, it would have been me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. Right. No. <laughs> I'm joking. Right. For real. He's joking. His, yeah, his downfall is happening. I don't need to do nothing. I don't. Nobody needs to do anything. His downfall is happening. No, but mm -hmm. definitely the way Olivia's been talking and. You know, she might come across someone who is from San Diego, and there's a lot of girls who do not play that out here. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So. Yeah, I, I would, I would just, yeah, because San Diego women will, will slap somebody. Like she just needs to relax. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't be talking to people like that. Right. Well, I mean, even. Oh, no. oh, who is that? Someone was trying to say something. You no, know, I was just thinking that the. Sean was some big time millionaire in San Diego walking around until the young lady just told me, like, no, he ain't famous out here. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. He lives in his apartment. Oh, no. My. He's not this famous. Whole, this whole story that we are told every day is it's such BS. And it's like, I, you can tell though, too. You can tell it's just like a bunch of, you know, mumble jumble that he just comes up with on the spot or has been saying for a while so he has it perfectly down pat and i really wonder does he believe his own damn lies like it because it it's going on the the you know um i don't even know how to say this just going to a, a point where it's like you really are delusional like you really have said these things so many times mm -hmm. where you now think you're telling the truth mm -hmm. um shawty chu how are you Hello. Oh, sorry. I was I was doing something. I'm good. I'm listening. How are you guys? Hey. I've been watching your I've been watching your clips, girl. <laughs> oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I you, <laughs> you have me cracking up with the clips. Are so many. <laughs> the gym. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. <laughs> I came on here to ask Amanda a quick question. Um, so, uh.
a follower of mine came to me in the comments section talking about uh what is the name again a uh, sinful sundays and mm. they had said that they had a cousin who used to go there and uh, do you think you can confirm if uh if you know or not she had told me the reason why he was fired from Sin sinful sundays was because of the sa allegations and that apparently he was messing around with one of the uh the girls is i mean one of the guys is girlfriends and that he was confronted uh he was confronted about it and i he wanted to fight sean i have like screenshots of the dms and everything oh. she said i could share them i just haven't mm, big but, but mm -hmm. she said uh that her cousin tried to fight him and that he didn't want to fight mm. um so that i don't know about i know nothing about okay yeah they, they, were, just, they were they were only in connection um i'm sorry that way um <laughs> Oh, yeah. You aren't confused, honey. They were in connection in 2021 into uh -huh. 2022. Okay, I have to ask that girl when exactly uh, that confrontation happened, but I'm sure it was 2022, mm. around that year. Mm. But I just wanted to know to see if you had any, um, you know, like, something to say about that. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's, no, crazy. Crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm not surprised at it. Yeah, you really are doing the the nitty gritty work out here. I swear, yeah. you get information we would you not do. even have thought of. <laughs> well, yeah, she she had messaged me and I was like, yeah, add me back right away, like please. And we were talking and I was just like, I believe everything you're saying because, like, uh, I, I can go get my other phone, but the girl was like. She was just so like precise about everything. Yeah. You should go get um, that other phone. Yeah, let me go get the other phone. Yeah, one of these. Um, so, Lala said call the club and ask. The club would not discuss it that. They wouldn't yeah. disclose. I had noticed that it was actually directly after we had pointed out, like, hey, they go to this club, blah blah blah. And so they were deleted, I would say, a week or two after that when people started noticing. So we thought it was because of that. We all thought Sean contacted them and said, hey, take the pictures down. But now it just seems like something messy happened. Oh, let, let me make you the big screen, Johnny. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. No, my cousin didn't work there, but he knew Sean because he would see him at the club as a photographer. They was messing with the same female, and my cousin said Sean would always come up to him and apologize, lol. So my cousin is 32 and definitely don't be in TikTok like that. So he was even surprised I knew about Sean. My cousin told me they almost fought, but because Sean thinks he's so big at the top that he intimidate people, but he doesn't, and in reality, he really is scary. But he got fired from the club because of the essay stuff that was going on and literally everyone knew about it. Not only that, he's not even really liked around in this section in his section because they call themselves San Diego royalty and the people there don't don't too much like that. My cousin also said he's been in the apartment complex they stay in and it definitely gives off Airbnb. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to that sounds read recent. fast, but I don't. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can barely see it, honey. Oh, it's definitely something I will have to ask. Oh, so, um, Shoddy said, bruh, I believe all of it. Did he say if Sean would drink, photography definitely fits him? And then the person responded and said, definitely something I will have to ask. But the way he acts, I think so. And yes, majority of club photographers are creeps, which my cousin said he is so weird. Like how he acts on lives is really how my cousin said he acts in real life when he described him. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Oh, let me see. It says, uh, Shawnee said, that's so gross. I appreciate you taking the time to talk with me. I will definitely be take, talking about this with my, or with your permission, sorry. Um, the person said, you're welcome, love, and I'm okay with you posting it or whatever. To be honest, 
I just thought it was so funny. He basically said he could hold his own. Oh my gosh. Mm. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, so I'm I'm a little confused. So pretty much Sean was was with or dating somebody whenever who had a boyfriend. That's correct. Or like that's what the story is, correct? Yeah, that's what she messaged me. That I I guess her cousin was had a girl that Sean had messed with, and he wanted to retaliate against that. Mm. With and he wanted to retaliate against that. Oh. Black therapy, honey, you have a an echo, sweetheart. Can you try to unmute now? Oh, where did the lift go? Everyone's leaving. Oh my gosh. So it doesn't really surprise me, I guess. Um, go ahead, Papaya, while we try to. Oh, no, I was gonna just ask. Like, so it kind of sounds like Sean was not about that life. He was not trying to touch or fight or any of that, really. No. I'm not surprised. No, I mean, okay. he said that he he had, what well, was one of his goals was like to learn how to fight. If somebody mm -hmm. knows how to fight or if somebody's street smart, you know, they wouldn't really need to learn how to fight. You know, they would just need to progress in it and, and advance in their fighting skills. But he, he said he wanted to learn how to fight altogether. <laughs> mm. Oh my God. This is it interesting. doesn't surprise me. Oh, go ahead, Isis. No, I'm just saying this is very interesting. Like, mm -hmm. that's tea, girl. That's tea. For real. No, no man, no man that's sassy know how to fight. He don't know how to fight. He's too sassy. <laughs> He's too sassy. Facts. He's too Even sassy. how he acts with men on the panel, it doesn't surprise me at all. He, you know, tries to buck up to women and everything else, and then when a man comes on the panel. It's almost like he gets into a little turtle shell, like literally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and he like tries to hide. No, when he was screaming at real, talking about, okay, with your fine ass, okay, Mr. Bob. I was like, yeah, this dude cannot fight. <laughs> <laughs> he will just lose it. Mm -mm. For real, Jasmine, <laughs> exactly. Oh my gosh, I really appreciate you, you bringing this up here though, like, and sharing that with us, because yeah, that's very interesting. But I'm going to go ahead and hop back down to the comments. It was so great meeting you, Amanda. Thank you for everything. I'll be in the comments, Blondie. All right, honey. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Right, honey, thank you for joining. Oh, no, 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 no. Just swipe up and then come back Hold in the app. Because I don't, I don't oh, know. Oh, no. <laughs> She probably closed that. I did that. I, I was trying to help. I hope she didn't get mad. Oh, I don't know. Maybe he closed the app, but you're more than welcome to come back. Um, What was I going to say? So, Shadi, what do you think is the next step to confirm or, you know, whatever? Do you think calling the club would be a good idea? Or I don't know if they would even tell you. Honestly, I don't even because um, a couple months back I had messaged Sinful Sundays and they never reached out to me. Mm. So, uh, and I mean, I recently called their gym and I don't want to feed into the 1% and they keep being like, you're harassing them. So I think I'm going to play a cool for a minute until I see him recording someone else. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah. But the, uh, I mean, if he was fired, I mean, what more action do I want from them? Exactly. That's why I was like, oh, I don't really think that would be a good idea. Because like, yeah, like G said, they probably had a lot of calls. I guarantee people are harassing a lot of these mm -hmm. places. They're probably trying yeah. to run it as well. <laughs> yeah, and, so. I, and my whole goal is, is like, is I don't, I don't, my goal is to not like sit there and like, because I've already been through the Topia thing where people have been calling her nonstop, you know, doxing her and stuff. That's mm. not my goal at all with like this whole page. Like I don't find any amusement in that. I don't think it's funny. It's just not for me. Cause I mean, personally, I wouldn't want that done to me. So wait a minute. I'm so <laughs> sorry. I have a question. 
because I recently, and I know this is yeah. a little off topic, so I recently, not like within the last month, but past few months, I would say, finally got into the Sophia drama and all of that. Um, I reached out to her, actually talked to her, and um, that's when I started kind of finding the thing I wanted to do on social media was, you know, lives like this, not necessarily pe calling people out, but, you know, like, talk about the controversy and just get everyone's opinion, blah, blah, blah. So are you the one who joined Aunt Karen's live with her or not? Yeah, that was me on my, uh, when I did old content of Sophia. Okay, that's what I thought. All right, yeah, you definitely yeah. held your own on that one. <laughs> it was a wild time. It was a wild time. Let me tell you, like, I, I have my own thoughts about that whole situation. But I had to take a break from it because when she, like, she will not let anyone post her. That girl, like, when she means it, she means it. There's no lives going on about her. Like, she's quick to take them down. Hmm. So it's like a game, a mind game that you're playing. I said this before, but I just, I didn't know. I didn't hear it. Um, so when you say that you knew that there were other women, what made you proceed with your all situation that you were engaging in? Okay, so when I first met him, I didn't I didn't know there was other women. Like when we first started like take like talking, I didn't know that there was other women. But like okay. as time Can uh, I stop you right there? Yeah, yeah. How did you not know? Well because what did he say to you? Um, honestly I didn't even really ask. Be he didn't make it seem like there was, is what I'm saying. Okay. Like he okay. didn't make it seem, but as time passed, that's when I knew that there was other people. But I was also dating other people too, so. That's mm -hmm. what I was just about to ask you. Yeah, I was dating other people too, but he was the only person that I was, you know, with. Intimately. With. Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting that he uh -huh. said that he doesn't have casual, but it sounds like you all were intimate yeah okay and then so at what point when you found out that he was dating other women that you were like were you guys still intimate on that level at that time where he was dating other women unfortunately yeah we were um because it was an on and off thing and i was young too um i don't know if you know i was olivia's age when we first started talking um, when you say Olivia's age, 17, 18? 19, sorry. Okay. 19. Okay. At the time, so, you know, I'm still naive, easily persuaded, whatever. So it was really on and off. I still, can, we still continue to, you know, have an intimate relationship. But, yeah. <laughs> Not that okay. makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm just trying to, you know, just understand the, the, just the mindset because I think that is important to a lot of a lot of women because it's like what what is he telling y'all like what is he saying yeah, he, he he really don't got the juice like that so what is he saying like what y'all sipping on I, <laughs> allowing y'all to be in those spaces you know what I'm saying yeah no I I completely understand because when I look back at it I would absolutely give me a nice little shake slap girl anyway um. You know, like I said, I was 19. Um, you How know, old was he at that time? You he, were was 20, he was 28. Oh, time. wow. What? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 19 and 28. Yeah. Anything like between in it? Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like this, girl. Although it's not le illegal, it's morally wrong. It's mm -hmm. morally wrong. Absolutely. But. You're saying in the comments what year? This was 2021, so I'm 22 now. So I was 19 turning 20. So when you were with him, did you feel like, to you, did it feel morally wrong? Or because of, you know, the age, was it just like, you know, almost like a carefree type of thing? I think me, it was me more questioning like, well, what do you, what do you want with a 19 year old? That's really what I was thinking at the time too. Like, like he don't care that I'm 19, 20. 
and then I just kind of, he did it, so I just went with it, I guess, so, yeah. No, I, I understand, you know, I, I absolutely get it, um, I don't want you to think I'm trying to be rude at Me. all, I just, I know what it's like to, to kind of be in a situation where it's like, oh my gosh, what am I doing, you know what I'm saying, I think we all have moments and maybe even relationships like that, so, or have had, um, relationships like that so that's why I wonder maybe at that age and being in a situation like that um you know just kind of what the mindset is being with with a man like him I guess mm -hmm. is more what I was trying to ask like my mindset I'm yes sorry, too. what was my mindset at the time dealing with him yeah um not in a way to try to attack you, for real. No, no, no. <laughs> um, man. Educational purposes. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. My mindset with him. That's a good ass question. Um, I, okay. I, I don't know if this is gonna be a good question, but. Oh, you're muted, baby. Sorry, I'm at work. I have to do something real quick. <laughs> no, you're fine. I'll you're answer, fine. I'll answer the question in a second. No problem. Um, find us, can, Amy. How are you? Hi. Can I relate to her? Cause I've I didn't, didn't speak to Sean, but I've been in a similar situation. Yeah, go ahead. I would say like definitely dealing with the person that had quote-unquote status that was older i think the mindset is really when you're 19 because i was 19 at the time so okay. i felt like having that mindset really was just like you are having fun but you don't know where it's going to take you but it does lean back to like the what are you going to do with me i'm 19 you get what i'm saying yeah. Sorry, I'm bad, guys. No, I agree. She I was listening. She can, I do agree. She can talk. Sorry. <laughs> I, I do agree. Uh, my mindset was, yeah, just being, just going with it. Really, going with the flow. Yeah, what do you want with an right. idea? What could you do with me? Uh -huh. but well, it was just, can... Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, please. Oh, no, but like I said, it was just me just going with the flow, <laughs> dealing with him, but it was... Honestly, that was probably the most stressful, like, I was in, like, in a really <laughs> dark state dealing with him, so it was bad. Yeah, and I could agree with that, too. Like, when you're at that age, you really don't, you really don't know anything, and you're just trying to, uh, I don't know. You know, yeah, I don't know Olivia's experience. I don't know her living conditions as growing up. But when you don't have, um, in my opinion, a strong spiritual father figure, you're you're easily led to just toxic men. Like you don't mean to. So I don't feel like Olivia means to deal with a man like that. But like when you are young and naive. Mm -hmm. You just don't see the things that you see once you get older. And I think that's exactly. why it's like everybody's just, try they're trying to speak to her, but she's just not going to see it because she she just got to go through it. But I feel like how people should come to her instead of just like making her feel dumb is to just try and be more there. I don't know how to put it, but just be like, if I had an opportunity to speak to her, I just want to be there more more there for her so she can understand like today it seemed like she was about to cry while speaking um what was she speaking about does anybody remember she was speaking about something she, it just gave me like this vibe that she was about to cry because she just seemed like she was just tired of all the hate and it's just like people aren't trying to hate on you but at the same time sweetheart like you gotta stand up like you gotta come on like you're not fighting for yourself and then you're imitating him more so it's not like we're not giving people much to fight for you get what i'm saying exactly and that's why when i see olivia i'd be like damn like that could have been me you know what i mean that could have been me or, I, I do feel bad because like you olivia is scared like 
because I used to be moving like that around him too. She's absolutely scared. Mm. And and you know, if she does something wrong, or you can even tell in the lies, if she says the wrong thing, there's a consequence. Mm-hmm. And you know, I don't know if she has, you know, people to help her, like family, because who knows what he's told her about her family or whatever. But I, I do hope that she just gets, gets it one day before it's too late. It's, hard. it's really hard to, to oh gosh, I don't know, sympathize or whatever with her just because yeah. tonight, especially just the attitude and and everything else. Um, right. Yeah, she, she's yeah. trying to push us I, away. I, so I, I've been yeah, noticing that too. She's been having a lot of... Um, She's been having oh. an attitude. I'm sorry, but the way that she handled You're the, okay. the Haitian comment, it just it just put her. I see her as I see Tokiana. It's just you're not willing and to apologize. I'm Haitian. Oh my gosh, the way I was offended. And it's like, the and way. I and I don't mean to stereotype, but it you you picked the wrong race to mess with too, because well, they really go right. hard for their people. Exactly. One thing yes. about it. One thing about it. And it's like she's not even taking accountability. Like, oh, just face the fact that you did say. She's uh, not gonna take accountability because she's no. in a state of rebellion. No. Olivia is a child, and she's in a childlike mind. Okay, and she's in a state of rebellion. So she's not going to listen to anybody that is not, first of all, not Sean. And she's not going to listen to anybody that is telling her the truth because of that rebellion. And that's just what it boils down to. She's going to have to go through what she's, what she's going through until she hits her head, until she get it. And when she get it, then she'll be able to leave. So with that, y'all just got to genuinely, the best thing for her to, is to leave her be. Let her take her, exactly. let her run her course. Yeah. Let, let her, her, her course. Let her learn her lesson in her life. Because life is life and for her. And everybody has yes. gone through something in their life. So you just have to understand that when you make those big girl decisions like she's she's attempting to make here, she's gonna have to be accountable for those, whether she's accountable on these lives or whether she's accountable in private. She has to live that life when she turn off this uh when she turn off that iPad and when she turn off that yeah. phone. Yeah, so I agree. Really, really quick, um, LV, are you there, honey? Yes. Okay, how are you? Hello? Can you hear me? Um, yes, kind of. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. I no did problem. not to come up here. I am so you sorry. Are? Oh, I, said I did not mean to come up. Oh, Sorry. no, you're okay, honey. Have a good night. Uh huh. Thank you. I've, I've been enjoying the conversation. <laughs> okay. Thank you, LV. Oh so, Amanda, gosh. really quick, I got another question from you. How yes. long, what was your time span with him? Okay, um, it was on and off, like I said. So, 2021 to like, oh. I can't remember the like exact month, but it was like the beginning of 2022. Okay. So you had it. So you it went into your 20s, like into your 20th birthday. Okay. It went into my 21st birthday. Mm. And then so after that, and then into your 21st. Birthday. So I so I met him 2021 February. So I was 19. Okay. And then I turned 20 June of 2021. Okay. So and then 2022. I turned 21. So actually, no, it wasn't even really the beginning. It was, yeah, it was like June. June of 2022 is when I stopped. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. So it was a minute. You got history for a while. Wow. Yeah, it was on and off. Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, and you don't consider, and I don't mean to, I just was just like you said. And you, and that we can hear you. Fine. We can't hardly hear you, baby. Okay, I took out my headphones. I don't. Oh, hello, yeah. Shawnee. Hold on, let me mute you, and then I'll you can unmute, honey, because I don't know what's happening. Go ahead, Shawnee. Okay, I think well, what she was trying to say is that she didn't consider her uh, dating him. 
But I wouldn't consider that dating. Like we were talking. But no, I don't know. That's me. Okay. Well, no, like yeah. we were dating, but I'm saying like I didn't consider myself in a relationship. A with him. Yeah. Like a right, girlfriend because, because there was other women okay. present. So we were okay, dating. Yeah, I'm going to say that. Okay, so y'all were dealing with each other from 2021 all the way to June 2022. Is that what I heard? Yes. Okay. So like a little fling. Yeah, it was on and off. Okay. Okay. They were familiar with each other. Yeah, we'll say that. Right, right. You're straight and everything because dealing with him for a year? Mm-hmm. Girl, it actually wasn't even that bad. And, you know, it was bad, but I'm talking about compared to how he is now. Oh my gosh. Uh, see, that's, that's just crazy. Confirms. Sorry, that guys. I'm not working on it. Give me one ego. You good, Amanda? Go ahead, Shadi. Was that or I said that just confirms that that. Olivia boosts his ego because if she's saying he wasn't like this bad before and he's like that now, it's just. Oh no, Isis. I'm done. <laughs> I think everything boosts his ego, especially um, just having <laughs> going on live every day and his little intros. I think everything boosts his ego. So, oh, can I ask Amanda absolutely. a question? I would say. Uh, she's she, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm back. She's, Okay. Give me okay. Give me just a second. I would say even um, the the negativity as well for some some reason seems to also boost his ego. And I don't know what it is, but <clears throat> he eats those interactions up because even when he has positive, you know, um, positive guests, he's still rude as hell to them. It almost is more dismissive. I think you know what, honestly. Oh, um. Well, to um, just comment off of you, I don't think it really is trauma based because no, Paulina, it's I, I can't I can't describe it, but he's definitely hurt. Like when you tell people the truth and they respond like that, it's because it's something within that they're dealing with. You get what I'm saying? Um, but um. As far as Amanda, my question to you was, um, when you were dating him, like, did he ever tell you anything personal or like, was it very, or how was your, like, how was your interaction with him? Like, did you ever get deep with him? Um, I tried to, but he really wanted, but the only deep thing that he told me, I already told everybody else, um, cause you know, he said he was homeless, but he wasn't really homeless. Okay. Um, he was just telling me like how he would just eat out of dog bowls and stuff like that. He really didn't talk about his family much, but he would just talk about his little homeless stories. So that's about it. He didn't really get too deep with me. Oh, oh uh, Sunkiss, do you want to say oh, anything or did you yeah. actually like I don't know. So I have one quick question and then I'm going to jump um, okay, you're come fine. Back up. But do you guys remember when um, Shanice was like, uh, there was exes who were saying, oh, that would never be me. Oh, it was you, baby girl. You left your shoes and Olivia was like wearing an ex's shoes. So the timeline that you just gave really kind of clicks for me now because did you ever leave any clothing or shoes at Sean's house? I did. Because Shanice you was... You said you did? I did. Also, oh, yeah. you know, ex who Olivia was wearing the shoes, it's all seemingly starting to add up now because they went live October of that year of 2022. Mm-hmm. Mm, interesting. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to talk to you. know what kind of shoes it was? Because <laughs> I know what shoes I left. See, honestly, I don't. We've only ever seen her in these white grandma looking church shoes. So I'm gonna <laughs> say she brought those. Yeah. But yeah. Shanice did say that like I was gonna like, cry laughing if I tried. <laughs> uh, but do you wanna tell us? I mean Shanice said that she tried them on. We don't know if it was were they wedges? They were wedges. Be- they were just like low black heels. Like they were just like a regular low, low type of heel. 
Um, I'm sure. I'm sure one of them has. I'm sure Olivia has put them on. Or he's doing oh, that. Uh, this is so crazy. How all the story seemingly just start like the dots and the puzzles are all just coming together. Yeah, so it's funny because I told my best friend too. I was like, she probably. I said she's probably wearing my shoes because I left them over there. Oh, hey. Hey. Yes, you did. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to drop back down. Thank Hi, you for Thank you. Thank you. Not the recycle. Oh, real, Isis. Isis, do you want to add anything, honey? I saw you talking <laughs> about leaving soon yes um i just wanted to say i appreciate you having me on your panel i appreciate amanda speaking out um telling her story um i'm gonna hop off and go to bed um i appreciate everyone in here so i hope y'all have a good night i will be back yeah. tomorrow you too queen thank you Isaac. Yes. always a pleasure yes. love y'all more have a good yes mm-hmm. lots of love babe thank you mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lots of love, babe. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay, so somebody had said, I've seen her in black and in heels. I don't know what the hell that is. But is that... No. Kid in heels. Because the shoes that I left over there were black and there were heels. I don't know. What's a kitten heel? I don't know what a kitten heel is. It wasn't that weird. Oh, kitten equals shorts. Yeah, they like, yeah, they, I call them static.